Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help back today for another video, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play Pest Control, why you should play Pest Control, and why it's a good mini game so that you can unlock your void. So basically, I'm going to try my best to over explain Pest Control while I'm just doing a quick game here. Um, basically, Pest Control is a game where you have to work as a team to destroy four portals that the portals keep letting out monsters and you need to destroy the portals in order to actually finish the game as well as there is a guy in the middle that you have to protect and the monsters uh, and shit like that like they come up to the guy and try to damage him so at the very top here as this number is 177 that is basically the guy's health and the bottom the 162 right there is how much damage that I have done or you know contributed or whatever like that so at the top here where it says 81%, um, as long as that is green, he will get points for the match. So try to keep it higher. As you can see, like when I'm doing damage and stuff, it goes a lot higher. But if I was to say AFK, it would drop a lot. So it's best to just be doing damage the whole time and chilling. You might as well because you get combat experience and things like that anyways. But yeah, it's overall a pretty easy mini game. And I'm going to go ahead and show you like what gear you should bring and give you guys some tips and things like like that and which boat you should board so monsters that you actually want to look out for in here are the big ball type monsters because if you attack them in close melee range they will explode causing a lot of damage uh it is a safe mini game though so if you die it's not really the end of the world or anything but uh yeah you want to watch out for those and make sure you're attacking the portals and helping everybody because in, at the end of the day the faster you get all the portals killed the faster the mini game is and you get your points faster and things like that so yeah we just got five void points so basically here is the veteran boat um which you need a hundred combat for this one i believe uh is the medium one and uh i'm not sure which combat level you need all right so for the medium boat here is the it's called the intermediate boat this one you get four points per game this one is the veteran and you get five points per game and the first one here is novice and you only get three points per game so depending on your combat level and things like that i highly just recommend you go to the veteran boat because you have a lot of high levels in there that will help you and things like that and you get the fastest points per game and stuff like that and so whenever you finish a game you will get you know five four or three points and then you can come here to exchange them i have 143 of the points right now you can buy experience you can buy um herbs and mineral packs and seed packs but most people just go for the void equipment um so to get a full set of void you're going to need the gloves the top the bottom and then which combat style you want so you could either do melee uh magic or range most people go for range and a total set costs 850 points so that is what i'm actually going for right now so we have 143 points points and i want to see how many points that i can get in an hour of doing the veteran boat so whenever i start a game i am going to go ahead and start a timer but overall it's a pretty easy mini game um, i'm just going to go give you guys a quick demonstration and then i will do it for an hour so all you have to really do is cross the gangplank uh bring your best not your best but just some random melee equipment and you will start a game off pretty quickly i recommend that you set your quick prayers up for piety if you have piety or your best like thing because you get your prayers and stuff like that redrained every time so just walk follow everybody and start doing damage on the things that come out of the portals these splatters are the ones you have to worry about but make sure that uh you know you don't die or anything like that but yeah as you can see so this portal is already able to attack so we have to go ahead and kill this portal if i drop my xp here it shows all of the portals their healths and things like that and that is the east portal already defeated so now we're all gonna probably move over here and wait for the next portal um only one can be damaged at a time so if you see a portal being damaged you could run over to that one and start attacking it just so that you know you get it done quicker and things like that but uh overall it's pretty easy you can use protection from melee or whatever if you want um but uh, you don't really even need to in this mini game there's so many people that it doesn't really matter and yeah you just could pretty much just kill whatever you see i try to avoid the splatters unless you are ranging them or maging them but yeah you can try to avoid the splatters as you can see now the southwest portal they're attacking 
just make sure you go and help them because the more people damaging the portal, the faster the games are. So I just highly recommend that you go and attack the portals as they are being destroyed. So now we can see that this yellow portal here is um, being attacked. So we can go up and help them here. And then we all know where the last one is, so we all should be running there afterwards and going to the last one. So overall, it is a very, very easy mini game. You can go ahead and use spec weapons, dragon claws, have fun with it or whatever you want to do. But it's pretty overall just an easy, easy mini game. And um, yeah, so whenever all these monsters are dead, we're going to start attacking this portal. And yeah, so it's pretty easy. Overall, each game takes probably a minute to two minutes. And uh, depending on the team, obviously, but it's pretty easy simple and like that we are done a game and cross the gangplank again in between games though you can all if they don't start this fast you can go ahead and hile and stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do this for an hour we had 247 points now and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do it for an hour and see how many points that i can get in an hour so yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. One thing to keep in mind while you're playing the game is if you see this drop in quite a bit, you can go ahead and head into the middle here. Make sure you close the gate so no mobs get in and just help defend here because this is the guy that you want to save. And as you can see, his health drops quite a bit. So um, if he actually gets all his health done, then you guys don't even get points for the game. So just try to defend him. He will regenerate health, but just defend here and stay away from helping with the portals for a bit. But usually two to three people run here anyways, and you don't have to worry about it. But I saw it was dropping quite a bit, so I came to help. Help. but yeah you can look out for that you know we got our five points anyways so all right guys so we've got like three minutes left uh for the hours so i'm probably just gonna do like this game in another game quickly and i will be right back all right so yeah i have 11 seconds left that game kind of took a while so yeah the hour is over put the screen back sorry about that yeah the hour is uh over now just now so there we go so we had 143 45 46 47 48 49 points at the start of the hour and now we have 273 all right so i just did the math and that is 125 points an hour um which isn't really that bad um if i go ahead and let's see one second here i'm gonna go and find my combat xp um yeah i gained like this is probably just over just over an hour as you can see it's like 23k strength xp an hour 15k hp 10k 10k um the reason strength is higher is because of the specking and 3900 magic xp in doing elking and stuff like that in between and stuff like that so yeah if you also figure out how much money we made so if i divide my points i figured out that i played 25 games in the hour and you make like I think it's like 1.2k per so i made about let's just say 25 to 30k coins in an hour as well so you make a little bit of money i mean even being like an iron man account or something where you need to get coins quickly it's really not too bad as well especially being a lower level and stuff but it's just side money really but yeah overall getting your void you know if you get 125 points an hour um it'll roughly take between six to eight hours to get your full set of void so i hope this video helped and i will catch you guys in the next one see you later